22nd of July. It's almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, here I'm back to that wheat field where the large fire machinery is doing its work. And there's, a, I guess, a combine. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right terminology, but it's going through the, uh, the rows of cut wheat. Picks it up and separates it, or cuts it and separates it. I'm not sure. I haven't really spent time watching it because I haven't had a chance to sit here. Every time I come here, they're not doing anything, but today they are. As you can see, it either cuts and separates and then leaves the stalks behind, uh, which is what I think it does. And it fills up with the wheat, and now it's transferring the wheat to that large uh, storage or transport bin on the back of that really big tractor. And a little further over, behind this tree is, I think it might be called a windrower, I'm not sure, but it's pretty big, pretty big. Try and get a picture of it. I'm gonna walk over. Looks like all the stuff is uh, Case IH, which is the company my dad used to work for. There we go. Yeah, they're pretty big. I mean, there's there are ones larger, but these are the biggest I've seen actually working in this area. Tractor's uh, pulling the bin off East Fall. And the other piece, yeah, he's cutting down the, the wheat, collecting the kernels, and spitting the, uh, the stalks out the back. And I think this guy collects it all up and rows it, or something like that. Or maybe he's just another one of the same uh, as, as the other machine, does the same thing. I mean, they got two going. I thought that was kind of cool. It's a really big, well, it's all relative. Saskatchewan has big wood fields. This is big for Wasaga Beach. It's a monster. So, I mean, I thought that was pretty cool, and I thought you'd uh, like to see that happening. I'll share that with you. Where are the boys going? He's just out of sight. So anyway, we'll catch you later.